you believe for one minute that you are not why do we allow our politicians to make no, laws yeah. that perpetuate a society of the victims? In your own life. Hey, you're not gonna pull that one here. Stop talking. Stop talking. You Everything to what you're saying is a lie. We don't have the luxury to assume it. someone else is going to say what we're thinking. It's time to walk it like you're talking. People, when will we learn? Enough is enough. Is enough. Okay, welcome to another week of Talk is Chief. Here we are. We're in a new studio space that for now is going to work for our studio until we get our final studio complete. Hello, Melissa. How are hello, you? Hello, Jason. Hello, everyone. Excellent. Everyone, hello. You're here. We are here. And how about the weather? It is weathering now. It is snowing outside it as is. we speak. It, it Exciting weather. And what did you tell me about snow? Snow belongs only during the time of December 24th to January 1st. That's that it. is my fixed belief. So only snow can exist in that time. Yes. Okay. Yes. So did snow once hurt you in, a, <laughs> in, a, in an uncomfortable way you're not willing to talk about? Only my therapist would know. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get some notes. <laughs> so now I I know that you were as shocked as me this week mm-hmm. when... We got the terrifying news. When we heard the tragic <clears throat> news from the source, not conjecture and internet rumor but the actual source herself the mothership yes <laughs> oprah winfrey at the world headquarters of harpo studios in chicago announced that she is hanging up her show um manolo blahniks yes manolo <laughs> blahniks and she is going to be complete with her show after next season what was your reaction to that when you i heard was that? sad i was really sad that was, I thought it was, it's lame. I'll be honest, it's dumb. Okay, well, I but mean, how long, she's been, by true. the time she finishes this, she will have been at this for 25 years. It's true. I mean, so, she does deserve a break, I guess. She has, can you know, given a lot and contributed. I don't know that she can be off the air forever. I, 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 I mean, yeah. I think she's going to be done, but. She's absolutely got to have something already in the works because she's Oprah. I know. I for think, Oprah's sakes. I think. She's going to go and take over the Celine Dion space in Vegas. <laughs> and what would she do? And, and people will just come to her. She'll do a live show five nights a week in Vegas. And Which you know, sounds much easier than her regular show she's yes, doing now. Exactly. But I, you know, when it happened, I, it kind of put me into a position to actually start thinking about, all right, so we've already talked about the co- impact that Oprah has had. In her 20 some odd years of doing her show, right. doing her show her way, mm-hmm. not uh, apologizing for her um, for her message or for her what she feels is important. She has, you know, made that important to her. So as you have experienced Oprah, you've actually been experiencing her longer than me. What has been the value Oprah has created in your life? For me, it it was really cool to watch Oprah shift from. Because there was a moment, you know, in, in the Oprah show where she did some CD type shows and less than awesome. Right. Like, my ex-husband is a horse. Yes. <laughs> I missed that one, but. It's, it's a good one. Okay. Um, and now she, you know, uh, how many years back, I don't know, she shifted to only doing shows that actually have purpose and, and, and teach. But it was been really cool to see someone take a stand like that. For me, it was I was like, wow, that's cool. I mean, someone in the entertainment industry and broadcasting is having some honor and some courage. It well, was really and cool. That, and that transition really, I believe, in a lot of ways, gave permission mm-hmm. to others. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think we'd have an Ellen. Yeah, for sure, we would if we didn't have an Oprah. For sure. And I believe that Oprah's shift is actually what caused the downfall of daytime talk. That there used to be a lot of daytime talk shows yeah. with the Sally Jessies and the Donahue Ricky Lakes and, and Donahue and Montel. Montel. I mean, everyone's there seemed to be one of those shows on every channel. Uh huh. Multiple. Now we have all the 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 judge shows. <laughs> yeah. Right. Painfully uh, so. But I get, we had to make room for Tyra. Yes. And so I get that when Oprah made her transition and she changed the conversation for that type of show, it really did a number on 
the rest of the shows because yeah. they either had to transition and shift and to keep up with what Oprah was creating mm-hmm. or they fizzled out. And ultimately they fizzled out. I mean, where's Sally, Je- Sally Jesse Raphael now? Some old woman with red glasses. Yes. Red prob- readers. <laughs> yes. So probably saying when she sees Sarah Palin, I invented those glasses. <laughs> Bitch. So as I'm looking at Oprah saying goodbye, at least for now, mm-hmm. and what she, it sounds like she's going to rock the roof off the house in her last season. Yeah. I mean, new cars for everyone every day, whatever. She's <gasps> really going to push it. I just had a breakdown a little bit. What? That means our time to get on the Oprah show is quick. Yeah, holy cow. We got to get on Oprah fast. Shite. Oh, man. If Ellen can get on the cover of O Magazine, we can get on Oprah. Jinga. We just got to figure out how to do that. Yeah. How about you dangle a baby over a, uh, a balcony and I'll have a Scientology marriage to a high-profile celebrity? How about we just dangle? <laughs> okay. So I, I was considering what are the really the ramifications of Oprah leaving. And will the current entertainment scape continue the, the journey that she started, continue the value, continue the message? Or will it degenerate back into Jerry Springer, uh, Michael Bay type programming where... Daytime television really has no intrinsic value at all. Where it's soap operas and Jerry Springer and we're all best not to TiVo it anyways. I don't know. That That's kind of a hard guess there. I mean, I feel like there's two spectrums of it, of course, that some people will think, okay, Oprah's gone. I'm turning my TV off. All those people that loved that yeah. type of programming. Or will there be someone who is quick to try and be the next Oprah or you know, the next powerful, positive woman or even man and will fail miserably or people will like, oh, they'll, they'll cling to them, which they're not going to be Oprah. Well, and that's the thing is that a lot of, I know that right now there is probably more production happening right now as a result of Oprah's announcement for daytime talk shows yeah. to take the, we're going to see a resurgence next year. Yeah. 2010, mark my word, will be the year of the talk show. Everyone and anyone who ever thought they wanted a talk show is going to have a talk show next year. Okay, so here's my question for you. Out of all people that you know that are alive and living right now, who would you like to see take the Oprah spot and have a talk show? Who, who, who do I want to see have a talk show or who do I think could take Oprah's place in that, creating that value? Um, well, just however you want to answer the question. Well, because I get that a lot of people, because of how Ellen has become popular, Mm -hmm. I think people expect Ellen is going to be the next Oprah. I don't know that Ellen can be Oprah. Right. Ellen, I don't think that Ellen can hold the attention and, and the experience that Oprah does. Cause that's a huge context. Oprah really balances well. I think it's because she came from a news background, but she balances well the ability to, Engage and entertain. Mm -hmm. Be informative and and, and ask the questions. I don't think Ellen is comfortable talking to, like, the family of the serial rapist killer who is in prison. Yeah. yeah. Ellen just won't do that. Right. So bringing that conversation. And and that's the thing is that if I were to look, I know who's going to try and jump in there. I know it sounds like Sarah Palin. Has, Ew. I know. Gross. I know. Sarah Palin has uh, has an eye on a show. She's cute, though. But there's other people who are currently running shows or who have recently failed shows. I mean, even uh, Karen, what's her name? Megan Mullally from Had a Show. She was on. She, she had a daytime talk okay, show. Okay, so then who who do you who would you want to see out of all people that don't currently have a show of celebrities? Who would you tune in to at least their first show? Well, I'm, I see. That's the thing is that you know I watched the first Rosie O'Donnell shows. Because I really found her entertaining yeah. and her show was nothing. Um, and Oprah, I really don't watch that often, it, to be honest. I watch when people tell me it's great or when I'm, I'm particularly interested I'm in I'm people, it. right? Yes, you are people. I'm people. I would say that I, I, like for just content and value, I think, I mean, I know this is going to sound stupid, but I think Deepak Chopra would make a cool is show. Is that a coincidence the last part of his name says Oprah? Yes. <laughs> 